social banking from GT Bank. Anywhere, anytime, any device. To Tokumbo and his newly funded startup. To Texer. In 2012, when uh, months after we just actually started in Danny, we were looking for scripts to develop as, web, as a web series. And we called for people to enter their scripts into the competition, but we couldn't find anything that we actually liked. And it wasn't because the scripts were necessarily bad, it was just not the right story that I wanted to tell. And Danny's entire aim is to tell contemporary African culture stories, right? And that's, that's what we're trying to project. So we were looking for that sort of story. Something that was young, fresh, telling a, a very useful African story about contemporary African culture. I thought of these four characters that were based on people that I knew. Some of the characters actually based on some of my experiences as well, but also friends that I have who were trying to find themselves. So these are young people who have gone off to uni everywhere basically, around the world, even in Nigeria as well. And you're done and you know that that life that everybody says you're supposed to come out of uni, get a job, get married, have kids basically and die. It's not the life that you want, you want more, you want to do something more. And so a lot of young people that I knew at the time were also going through that. They wanted to, to create something that would last, outlast them as well, that would be bigger than what maybe even their parents had done. They wanted to be very, they wanted to be an integral part of Africans, Africa's change as well. And that was a feeling that I also was having. And I knew a lot of young people who were going through that. And I also knew that they were also struggling with their relationships with the older generation. So their parents and uncles and aunties that they didn't understand this burning desire to be more, you know, to be more than the average or to be more than the status quo and what was expected of them. So this was a story that I felt like, okay, this is a story that we need to tell. In fact, when my mother watched season one, she called me and said, Chadi, I saw what you did, that's me, that guy's father, that's me. And they're going to be investing a total of about seven million dollars. Wow. Mm -hmm. Tokumbo is actually, he's actually a very interesting character. He just shows you that no matter how perfect or imperfect a man is, we really should just accept him. We don't know where you're coming from, you know, um, we don't know why he makes any choices, but just don't judge. You know, don't judge. Just let him be and he will grow into the kind of man that, you know, that does good. Well, unlike you, Eki, I don't have my parents going to fall back on. Yvonne as a character is quite interesting to play. I feel that her story is very, it's very similar to what a lot of young girls go through and then having to find yourself making certain decisions as an adult. Um, also battling with your morals versus having to live a life and fend for yourself in hustling Lagos or hustling Nigeria. So I think she's a very, very interesting character to play. Good morning, Lagos. What's up, people? Make no mistake, it is the Obi. And it is so, so good to be back on the radio after being away for such a long time. I joined Giddy Up because I thought that the very first season was amazing. Um, I watched all of it and I thought that uh, Jade Sola did really, really incredible stuff on it. So when I was told uh, that they thought it would be nice for me to come through and do something for this, I thought, yay, hey, let's, let's do this. This is magic. Let's make the magic happen. So I, I took the chance. What I liked most about my own character was um, his, his narcissism, the love for himself, you know, that just makes him the center of everything. And I mean, in terms of, I mean, as an individual, you'd never catch me doing that, you know, but as a character, sometimes it was fun to just be, yeah, <laughs> let's all just, <laughs> let's dwell on me, man. I think he's the one you won. I've never felt like this before. Oh. So in, in season one, um, Eki was a character that was introduced and so I feel like a lot of her backstory was not really on the surface yet. Uh, in season two, there's a lot of growth that happens. So you get uh, an insight into 
um, Eki's life um, and her, her experiences with love, her experiences with friendship. I feel like not just Eki, but all the characters grow up in season two. All the characters um, begin to have like depth and, and become more complex as humans are. Um, and so I think Eki, Eki really, really becomes a woman in season two. I'd like to think of the crew of Giddy Up. This is going to it can, it can be funny though, as 300. <laughs> like a small, effective crew. They knew what they needed to do at every point in time. So, even if we didn't do it as carefully as we wanted to do, we, we tried to get a set of people, tried to pick a set of people that would know what they need to do, when they need to do it, and get the job done a little bit. So, give or take, we had 20, 25 people, it said. Yeah, that's about it. One of the coolest things behind the scenes also is just how Nia Perfect Jade is with the idea of what she wants. I thought that was, you know, I'm saying to the detail in terms of how she sees each of the scenes and each moment in each of the scenes. So yeah, behind those scenes, I, I enjoy that. Giddy Up is, is, is definitely special. It's different in all respects with um, how things are done, with the, the meticulous nature of my very special director. You know, yes, everything has to be done perfectly. And I think it was, I can say confidently that it's been one of the very best things that's happened to me coming into this industry and seeing that, okay, things can actually be done the way they're supposed to, even despite the logistic difficulties that we have. I think the reason why people are drawn to Giddy Up is because there's something different about the way it looks, about the way it feels, and about the way the, 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 the show moves across the screen. And I think that is a testament to um, Jaddy's work. There's something very unique there. See you guys in the morning. My, my hope is that people are able to Beyond enjoying the viewing pleasure of how it will look, people are able to connect with these characters and they're able to identify with them. They're able to, the ones that they don't identify with, they, enjoy, they can see those realities, they're, they're exposed to these realities and they enjoy, basically enjoy the show. That's, that's really the whole process in three. Giddy up in three words. Classy, um, clean, and fantastic. Hi guys. If you just enjoyed watching that video and you want to stay up to date with the latest in entertainment, lifestyle and more from inside Africa, why don't you hit the subscribe button right now? And if you want to keep on watching videos, then just simply hit the more videos button.